much brew about nothing. Playing some more four color warriors in modern. Ah, uh, this hand's not exciting, but we can keep it, I think. Missing a one drop. Well, let's just windswept teeth go. Verdant catacombs for our opponent. Cracks it. Gets a forest. Ooh, Glistener Elf. All right. Crack Windswept Teeth. Get a... Overgrown Tomb. Untapped. And let's just dismember the, the Glistener Elf. Ooh, inter interesting. Uh, that could catch our opponent by surprise, actually, as weird as that sounds. Cavern on Warrior, and run out our Chief of the Edge. Pass the turn. <laughs> we could actually get a Quasali Ambush blowout in this match, which would be so amazingly hilarious. Opponent attacks with like Ink Moth, starts throwing pump spells. We flash it in. It has reach. Maybe that's why it's in the deck. It actually seems reasonable against Infect. Just as a surprise, a surprise blocker. Breeding pool for our opponent. Untapped. And a Blighted Agent. Well, we can't really block that. We could just be dead next turn. Well, let's get in with Chief of the Edge. Opponents down to 13. Play a Plains. Play Eldrazi Displacer. Pass the turn. There's an Ink Moth. I don't think there's any card in our deck that lets us win next turn. We hit for 9... 10, 11, if we drew Erish and Foremost, 12? That's assuming we even live, which we very well might not. 5, power for Blighted Agent. Goes attacking. They have the mana for Become Immense if they have it. Alright, they do not. Well, mana confluence, attack with both. Put our opponent to 7. Pass the turn. Maybe there's a way Eldrazi Displacer can keep us alive. Problem is, Vines of the Vastwood really gets us here. We have our Ambusher for surprise blocking on Ink Moth, of all things. We have the ability to, at some point, attempt to blink the Blighted Agent. All right, Noble Hierarch, sure. The fact that they didn't kill us last turn is a little bit encouraging. Phone goes to combat. Well, let's flash in our Ambusher. Wow, we made it through, up to seven. Now we get to... Blink Noble Hierarch, so it can't block. All right, opponent uses vines. Blink Noble Hierarch again. This way, if they vines, they can't activate Ink Moth. They need like vines plus dismember or something along those lines. They got to be able to kill a creature for one mana off of Ink Moth and keep us from tapping Noble Hierarch. And our pull scoops it up. All right. Well, we got there. Somehow. Somehow. Well, Spell Sky, auto include. Disfigures, definitely coming in. Thought Seizes, also coming in. And maybe Thalias? Thalias are actually probably good. They just slow our opponent down a tiny bit. Uh, Drowsy Displacer was surprisingly good that game. 
I think we go down mutagenic growth here, and we still need to make more cuts. We have to keep the pressure on. We can't plan on winning the long game. I guess we can go down strike leader and maybe ambusher. Like, our opponent knows about ambusher now. They're probably unlikely to get ambushed. Let's try it like that. Um. Alright. This is okay. We do have a Thalia, which is something. Maybe. Noble Hierarch. Not an infect creature. Let's Mana Confluence and Blood Soak Champion. Pass the turn. Thalia is not a warrior. Another forest. Here's the Bladed Agent. Well, let's get in with our Bloodstoke Champion. Opponent takes it. Let's... Marsh Flats, Crack Marsh Flats. White, green, red, black. I guess we can just get a Temple Garden. Untapped. And... Thalia? Pass the turn. Not spells quite good, but it's something... There's an Ink Moth. I don't know if it necessarily is good enough. We're going to be taking a lot of poison. We could easily be dead in two turns. We could draw a Spell Skite would probably be our best draw. Here's the attack. Going for three, in fact, by the looks. Do they have pump spells to go along with it? Looks like the answer is yes. So, Exalted Trigger Resolves. No, oh, our opponent... Hmm, okay. Did not do anything. So we take three. Dismember is an interesting draw. Well, let's attack with both. Blood Crypt, tapped. Pass the turn. This has got to be suspicious. We could have tried to kill the Blighted Agent there, but I think we got to be a little greedy in this situation. And we do have Thalia, which helps. It's not as easy for them to leave up spells. And they're probably going to be tempted to attack with Ink Moth, tap Pendlehaven. So it's not that easy for our opponent to just leave up a ton of protection spells. There's the Ink Moth. Tax with both, which means no exalted trigger. Up to five, in fact. There's a glistener elf. All right, let's uh, let's go after the blighted agent. End of turn. All right, it dies. We get a windswept teeth. Windswept teeth. Let's. Crack Windswept Teeth. We can't collect it company because of our own Thalia. Get a Plains. Bramblewood Paragon. Chief of the Edge. I mean, we're shields down, but we really don't have much of a choice. Attack with both. Opponent takes it. Down to nine. So if we survive this turn, there's a decent chance we win with Erish and Foremost on Chief of the Edge. Because Chief of the Edge has Trample now, so it's going to be really hard for our opponent to block it. So if Thalia is just enough of attacks to keep us alive, then we got a shot. The scary part is if they can like activate Ink Moth Nexus, Vines of the Vastwood on Ink Moth Nexus, we're just dead. We could have tried to bluff that we had something, but I think we had to be more aggressive. They might also have <laughs> Quasali Ambusher in their head, of all things. Which is actually an out here. Alright, they pump it up to two power. Oh, they just have enough. Alright, that does it. Well, maybe punish for not using that dismember more aggressively in waiting. 
that one extra poison. All right, let's run it back. Oh, that was close. All right, we get to play first. Oh, God. We have a hand that's good if we just draw lands, but I don't know if I have much faith in that. We get a 2-2... Two, two, and then a dismember. I think we got a mulligan. Oh no. Well, we're going to five. Our opponent's also going to five. Well, this could do it. Do we keep a one drop? Turn one. Let's put Woe Reaper to the bottom. I think we're going to shuffle anyway because I want a Thought Seize on turn one. So Marsh Flats, crack Marsh Flats, get a godless shrine and just thought sees our opponent take blighted agent pass the turn so our opponent has vines mutagenic growth wow they didn't even play their land that is a really weird turn i do not under i don't understand that thinking why would you not at least play your land even if you don't crack it you got to fetch land I don't understand the, the logic there. Unless it was just a mistake. There's the vines. Pony cracks it. Now we just want to draw lands. We are going to immediately kill Glistener Elf. If our opponent plays it. Gets on tap land down to 17. There's Glistener Elf. Well, something else we can't cast. And let's dismember Glistener. Get in for 2 Put our opponent to 15. Pass the turn. Oh, if we draw two lands in a row, I'm feeling so good. Oh, our opponent drew a land. And it's an Ink Moth. We draw Collected Company. Put our opponent to 13. Pass the turn. Oh, no. Well, now I feel like we're in trouble. Our opponent, we each had one land, and our opponent's drawn three, and we haven't drawn any. Our Dismember Thoughtseize opener was good, but it's a little less good, because our opponent can do things and we can't. We really need a land this turn. All right, that's a land. So we get to Chief of the Edge. I mean, we're shields down, but what can we do? Exile, Glistener Elf, get in for three. Put our opponent to ten. Pass the turn. And our opponent cracks the fetch. All right, so we are actually a white source away from winning with Erish and Foremost. Depending on our opponent not having a blocker, we know they have a Vines and a Munigenic Growth. Those are the two cards we know about. Munigenic Growth is plus two poison vines they don't have enough lands for yet here comes ink moth they don't have enough cards in their graveyard for become immense all right distortion strike pumps the ink moth gonna put us up to three a virtual five poison the good news is we win with a white source there it is! <laughs> we win the Mold of Five battle. Whoo! Get the planes. Erish and Foremost. Double strike up one of our creatures. Four Xaxes. Ho 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 ho! Well, the deck just keeps winning. We just beat in fact. This deck looks so janky. Ho <laughs> This should not just keep working. I really don't understand. In fact, it is a tier one deck. Merfolk is a tier deck. Somehow, we just keep winning.